Prior to having FITO as a partner in the emergency room, um, our pain points were that when patients left the emergency room, uh, you know, we've always been told and we've always known that it's a really good thing to get in touch with them after they leave the emergency room. So patients who are treated and released, uh, you get higher Prescani scores, you know, higher patient satisfaction scores, and we, we do use Prescani. Uh, you get higher scores if you contact them after they leave. And it was always a real pain point. It was hard to figure out from a budgetary perspective and a time perspective how to reach those patients. Um, at my largest emergency room, I've been running five ERs within the Riverside Health System. Uh, we see over 155,000 patients annually. And prior to using FITEL to try to reach 55,000 patients at the largest emergency room who were treated, released, and sent home after their visit was just impossible. Uh, we had distilled it down to the group of patients that we thought were the highest risk for us. So we would call patients who had left without being seen. So in other words, they hadn't seen the physician before they decided that they were going to go home and, and not finish their, um, you know, their event or their visit, their occurrence. Uh, we would try to call patients who had abdominal pain, fever of unknown origin. Uh, we'd try to call all of our head injury patients and all of our peds patients. But just finding the staff to do that and the time to get that done, I mean, you're already on uh, you know, pretty thin resources these days and, and things are getting even tighter. We're being asked to do more with 30% less than we ever have before. And just to find the manpower to accomplish that, even though you know it's the right thing to do, and you, you know that you need to get a hold of the patients, it was just impossible to try to do it. So what FITEL really allows us to do, it creates this funnel, and, and it really allows us to spend time on the patients that need to be spent time with, the patients that want follow-up. Uh, the transition solution gets a hold of the patients for us, and then if they say they'd like a call back, then I have a nurse call those patients back. And it really allows me to put the effort where it needs to be instead of, you know, it's a focused approach. The impact of using FITEL transitions in the emergency room is that I'm able to do more with less. Uh, I'm able to contact all of our patients who are treated and released uh, in a very short time period. We call them each three times uh, before we stop attempting to get a hold of our patients. And it allows me to save FTEs, save labor dollars. Without FITEL transitions as an automated solution, we would be unable to reach all of our patients who are treated and released in the emergency room. We know it's the right thing to do, to contact every patient that leaves, but it's, it's a hard to do thing with constrained resources. In the emergency room, we have the opportunity to have a great impact on HCAP scores. Even though HCAP scores really only measure the patient satisfaction of inpatients, uh, the way the ER scores go, so go the inpatient scores. And since beginning to use FITEL transitions, both our emergency room percentile rankings have gone up, as well as our, we've seen a rise in our inpatient scores. In our patient satisfaction scores, we do use Prescani to just the outreach and the contact that we have with our patients. Uh, Prescani and others, Quint Studer, uh, is a you know a national leader on patient satisfaction and service and they all have proven over and over again that if you contact your patients after they leave and go home that they give you you know you get a higher percentile ranking than those who do not receive a phone call after they leave and that's both on on the ER side as well as the inpatient side but the ER is um, the ER is so critical to higher inpatient scores and HCAP scores, and that's very important to all of us in healthcare is the value-based purchasing and what's at stake. I would highly recommend the FITEL transition solution. It's allowed us at Riverside to do more with less, uh, decrease the manpower, and to work smarter, not harder. As part of the FITEL transitions assessment, when we call back our ER patients in their aftercare callbacks, we ask the patients, uh, we start off by telling them that their physician really cared about them and about their visit and wanted us to follow up with them. Uh, we added that piece in there. Since at Riverside we are a physician-led organization, uh, we start off then and we ask them if they're feeling better, worse, or about the same as they were when they left the emergency room. Uh, we ask them if they're having any questions about their discharge instructions and then if they want to talk to somebody about those. We ask them if they're having any questions about any new medications they might have been put on you know, uh, prescribed in the emergency room. 
Uh, we asked them if they've called their doctor or not yet. And if they don't have a doctor, then we have a, a feature where they can press a number and it says, no, I don't have a doctor. And then we know to follow up with them and uh, try to help defragment our care and maybe talk to them, you know, call them back and talk to them about choosing a Riverside Medical Group physician for their primary care. And then for the emergency room assessment, finally, we ask them if they're likely to recommend us to their friends and family. It's a keystone question for us, and it gives us an indicator on how our Prescani scores, how our patient satisfaction scores are going to go. If they say they're not likely to recommend us, they, they land on an escalation list, um, as well as a couple of other of the um, choices they can land on an escalation list. And then I have a nurse that calls them back and really is able to spend time with uh, just the patients that, that they need to spend time with who have actually questions and who, who want to call back. At Riverside Health System, our readmissions rate is fairly low. We're under the national and state averages. So it's, it's hard to really pinpoint um, the reasons for that. I think we started off low. Uh, definitely calling patients back after they've been an inpatient with us will increase patient satisfaction scores and hopefully decrease readmissions. I'd really love to see a time where we get uh, disease specific in our focused callbacks. And I think we're working on that with Fitel. Uh, I know we're working on that with Fitel, disease specific uh, questions so that we can follow with a patient throughout the next 30 days after their inpatient admission and really try to manage that and keep them out of the hospital to avoid penalties.